It is the Wahlberg's Eagle, and they're in a display flight. Look at this. They're busy going after one another. And I wonder if maybe the dark form one is here with the pale form or these two pale forms. But they went down at one, at one another and kind of chased each other. So I'm trying to get my binoculars just to see who's who. But definitely the Wahlberg Eagle pair. The one came towards the nest and the other one then chased it. So that's the dark form that we've got there. And the pale form was the one that was also around which has now disappeared so I wonder if there's a bit of interaction going on now and they've worked out this dark form one has now worked out hang on a second somebody's intruding in my nest and is coming to start war so let's go forward because he's heading straight towards the nest itself and I think that pale formed one landed in that area there I see him dive bombing straight towards that section let's quickly try and get there Obviously, it's difficult to keep up with birds of prey. They fly quite quickly, and it's, you know, especially when there's a bit of a wind blowing, it's really quite hard to keep up with them. But they've gone past the nest now. It seems as though they've kind of dive bombed further away. Hmm. But it was definitely the dark form and a pale form one that. Yeah, now, whether or not, there it goes. It's just taken off again and is flying this. There they're following each other. Look, here they come on the left. Dark form on top and pale form on the bottom. And it seems as though they're following one another around and just skirting the tops of the treetops. I wonder if they are just chasing one another or if this is more just the pair together. It's very uncommon that the pair would go after one another. hit each other in mid-air just now. And sometimes eagles will do that. They turn on their backs and they put their talons up. And the other one comes down and they kind of lock talons and then they tumble a little bit. So they did that just before we got the camera on. And then now they seem to have split a little bit. But that was exciting. That was good to see. And I wonder if, like I say, the dark form is not thoroughly unimpressed with the fact that there's another there's the light form is just or pale form has just landed at the nest now and i don't know if this is a different individual or because i last i saw of the pale form was going off in that area but here is definitely another pale form Wahlbergs at this nest this nest is turning out to be a saga of note it seems as though there's definitely some sort of competition raging over this particular tree and this particular nest site and that there's a lot of things going on so there she is or he are oh, they beautiful when they're this lighter color you can hear some of the franklins are alarm calling because of these two, all these birds flying around but isn't that beautiful i wonder what's going on though it's very interesting behavior from them and, and to see because we know that there was two pale forms here then this dark form again today is back in this area which we haven't seen for the last two days so i have no idea what's happening i think it's possibly a territorial thing between two different pairs at the moment and they're having a go at one another and they busy dive bombing and chasing and i think they're trying to work out who's going to end up nesting in this particular section and it's going to be interesting to see if they if the dark form and pale form Wahlberg's pair gets pushed out if they f go somewhere else and head towards the treehouse dam I mean the twin dams nest further south of us along the banks of the Mulawati interesting 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 very cool though either way they are beautiful see how feathered the legs are so that's part of the true eagles that when they have those feathered legs unlike things like brown snake eagles which have the bare legs so they're not considered to be part of the true eagles which is what these guys are and they're a fine example and remember these are migratory so for some of you might not have seen them before that's because they've only just started arriving back in the last week or so and they are feverishly prepping nests to start laying eggs as soon as possible so as they can oh, itchy beak so as that they can breed and get their young ones strong enough to start moving northwards again at the end of summer. Robert, yes, they could hunt guinea fowl for sure. Um, it is possible, but generally the Wahlbergs goes after slightly smaller birds. So red-billed quellias is one of its biggest targets, and then small birds like that. So you'll fi find that they go after sparrows sometimes. They'll go after canaries, buntings. Um, so the smaller passerines is what they go after and then also termites you'll find when we get termite um, hatches and the winged alits are out of the nest I mean out of the termite mounds these guys are generally there in full force picking them up and feeding off those alits as they come out so that's what they target the uh, uh, guinea fowl is probably a little on the large side for a Wahlberg's eagle the guinea fowl are normally left for things like the Marshall eagles which is a much much bigger much heavier bird than what you see with the Wahlbergs Wonderful though, really, really good.